Hello everybody and welcome to Signs and Wonders. Um, this type of video is a first for me. I don't usually do exposings and, and videos types of stuff like that. But um, this one, uh, it was in my suggested video feed. You know that place where they used to promote awesome videos like from channels like mine? Which they don't anymore, thank you YouTube. Uh, but um, anyway you guys... Um, yeah, this video popped up in my suggested feed for some reason, and I don't know what it was, but something made me click on it, and uh, I was pretty horrified, to say the least, with what I seen and what I uh, was able to discern, so I just felt something told me that I just have to, I have to expose this, I have to put it out there, so, you know, if you like it, hopefully you guys like it, if you don't, whatever, I just, something is telling me to do it, so I'm gonna make the video, so... Let's uh, get into it here, guys. Okay, so Blink-182 replaced um, Tom DeLonge with someone named Matt Skiba. He's that fine-looking gentleman on the right there. Uh, they replaced him in 2015, and he's apparently bringing this new vision into the band. So let's uh, get into this here and we'll s I'll tell you guys what I see alarmingly wrong with this and I'm sure you guys as Christians will be able to discern the same thing Matt, I'm Mark we play in Blink-182 and we are going to be talking about our new album 9 right here on France 24 okay now this Matt guy on the right is uh, just a Christmas tree full of symbolism <coughs> but before we get into that you guys let's start at the beginning so this new Blink-182 album is called Nine. Um, as you can see, the album cover is just total pride propaganda. You'll see these colors um, m throughout multiple um, places in this interview. Um, and the album is called Nine. Now, Nine has a lot of symbolism, the number nine. Um... I'm not a. I don't want to like promote the occult too much and stuff like that. If you guys want to look into it, you can. But I'll tell you a little bit. Like for example, um, our Lord and Savior died, took his last breath at the ninth hour. Okay, so just that right there should tell you guys. It's almost like a mockery, like a slap in the face. So and there's all kinds of crazy symbolism you can get into, like even like mathematical stuff. You guys can look up for yourself. Like for example, like nine times three, right, is twenty-seven. So, 27, 2 plus 7 equals 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 times 6 is 54. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 times 7 is 63. 6 plus 3 equals 9. And so on and so on. But, like I said, I don't want to get too much into the number 9. But yes, that is what their new album is called. And um, it is lovely painted up with their favorite colors. We memorized their anthems as angsty teens back in the 90s. More than two decades on, Blink-182 are still going strong with a new So remember guys, Matt or whatever his name is, buddy on the right there, he's like the new light, the new inspiration for their group, okay? Um, but the guy on the left, he's obviously trying to maintain a more normal look i really thought like we'll get into matt on the right don't worry there we know he's like off the charts crazy but on the left i really think that octopus thing on his shirt kind of looked like a baphomet like the way the tentacles were up and it kind of looks like corns i don't know that that could just be me grasping there but i just kind of think his his octopus shirt looks kind of baphometish Congratulations on the new album. Thank you very much. It's called Nine, and the best description I've seen of it so far is energetic, dark, but catchy as hell. That's it. But also no joke songs, no sex songs, and no homoerotic hijinks. How True. Would you, how would you guys describe it? As the first half of what you just said, absolutely. I think it's dark. This uh, youth symbolism that you keep see them flashing will really tie in when you guys see the preview for their new video near the end. It'll start to make sense. Jesus. 
relationships, a broken political system. What are you saying about 2019? It's a hard world to be in. It's a hard world to live in right now. I think that the world is on edge. I feel like everybody is very tense. I feel like things have, uh, are very close to spilling over into really awful times ahead, and I hope it doesn't get there. A lot of the things that are happening now have always been happening, just everyone knows about it. Matt, 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 where do we start with you? Well, first of all, he's got the good old inverted crucifix around the neck. Uh, he's wearing some kind of a hideous t-shirt that says, listen to black metal or something, I'm assuming. And obviously the T, as you can see, is an inverted cross. Real winner here, guys. Um, I've seen his arms before. He's got like devil tattoos, demonic tattoos. Um, he's always wearing sunglasses. If you guys know anything about the occult, people sell their souls and stuff. They, they can't stand looking at themselves in the mirror. I've heard of stories of celebrities taking all the mirrors out of their houses and stuff because the eyes are the windows to the soul, right? So you can see, they can see the demons in themselves. So it's one reason why they're always wearing sunglasses. And uh, he just looks like a real sickly person. Um, as we go on hey, with the interview here, we'll try and point, point out some more things. Yeah. And can react to it or, you know, add on to the destruction it's uh, it's pretty crazy. And what's it like living in Donald Trump's America? Depressing. It's not his America. Bah! It's not his America. <clears throat> Obviously, someone like that is gonna say that. <laughs> this guy and his boyfriend beside him are clearly like not down with Mr. Trump. Uh, actually, it is his America. He's the president, so technically, he runs the country. He likes to think it is, but it ain't. Matt, you arrived in the band not that long ago, in 2015, after Tom DeLonge left. Shortly after that, you guys um, were nominated for your first Grammy mm -hmm. with California. Which... Hmm, so Buddy Lee's super weirdo Satanist joins the band. Um, and then they put out an album with, like, this crazy album art here. It's like a chick with angel wings coming out of her head crying to, like, some kind of demonic skeleton. And all of a sudden, now they're getting nominated for a Grammy. It kind of made us believe in this future for Blink-182. And Nine kind of cements that. Did you guys always believe, though? Yes. Uh, this record, we went in with a lot of intent. Actually, both records, we went in with a lot of intent. On California, we wanted to really plant our flag and say, this is what Blink-182 is. Take it back to where we very first started, a total uh, unity of purpose. This, you know, Blink is energetic, catchy, punk rock, fast, great times with your friends, struggles with your friends, struggles in life. Demonic, child seducing, LGBT pushing fairies. And then for uh, Nine, we sat down ahead of time. We we're like, we want this to be really different and experimental. We want to take the foundation of Blink-182 and then just blow it out of the water. Okay guys, so when I seen this video, this is what sealed the deal, what really pissed me off and why I had to make the video. So, this is a song, a video from their new album called Dark Side. Cat, mess off. And it features a bunch of children. They're in an elementary school surrounded by young children. Like, we're talking 12 years old and younger. The song says, I don't care what you say, I don't care what you do. I'm going to the dark side with you. Now watch this video and just tell me this does not seem inappropriate for these weirdo Satanist adults and to be around little children singing the lyrics that they're singing and these little kids are dancing in all these weird inappropriate kind of ways around these weird Satanists and they're all wearing red and black which I'm pretty sure are satanic colors and the whole thing is just marketed at kids and symbolism and it's so evil and disgusting and it just really ticked me off so let me know what you guys think if you feel the same way let me know in the comments and yeah just check this out guys Okay, bro, you're not kidding anybody. We all know you love dark places. You love falling into dark places. 
your boyfriend or whatever that guy is on the right, he looks like his handler, like making sure he doesn't say anything out of bounds. Like these guys are twisted, twisted. Okay, so now I want to show you guys the rest of this video, th that your new video that they put out, and I want you guys to try and count how many times the little kids dancing around them throw up the uh, devil horns or any kind of Illuminati symbolism. Just good old wholesome music, eh? Right. It sickens me. Look at this weirdo is just so overly happy to be around these kids throwing up demonic symbols. He's like, whoa, ho, ho, ho. like just man, this Hollywood is disgusting. very lucky we've been doing this for decades and it's still just as fun now as it was back then and hopefully more fun because I feel like on this record especially we really put ourselves out there and tried a bunch of new things that made me uncomfortable in the best possible way and to have people react to it as well as they have is, is I don't know a big honor. I gotta say guys it is very shocking and disturbing what is happening to society nowadays. These guys are getting honored and praised. Like, people need to wake up and uh, see what's really going on around them, what's really going on in society. And parents especially need to pay closer attention to what their kids are listening to all day and consuming their, their minds with, you know what I mean? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is the first video I did in this style. I hope you guys liked it. I might do a few more if I see something that I really need to say. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if you like my stuff, hit subscribe, hit the bell, give me a like, uh, share my videos. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the live debate tomorrow. It's going to be my first live stream event on this channel. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be really uh, interesting, really fun. Both debaters are really knowledgeable in scripture. and It's, it's going to be a good time, guys. So I hope to see you there, all right? Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night and uh, Merry Christmas, everyone.